After the break, it's under the counter for cigarettes. The government wants to stop shops displaying tobacco products. But will that just make cigarettes more sexy? Celebrities pictured cigarettes in hand, television saturated with cool characters smoking. Perhaps little wonder that despite an existing ban on advertising, 300,000 teenagers take up the habit every year. Faced with smoking rates which refuse to budge, government said today it would ban the display of cigarettes in shops and launched a consultation about removing all branding from packets. But will these stringent measures actually add to the allure? Our culture editor, Matthew Kane has been finding out. If you could choose a cigarette that suited you... Number 43. At a price that suited you, the chances are you'd end up smoking senior service extra. Advertisements for cigarette brands used to be commonplace on British TV. Mm. Just like it. But now the cigarette packets themselves are the last bastion of branding for tobacco companies. And as of today, even that is under threat. Ministers have announced that tobacco displays in shops in England will be phased out from 2012. Similar plans are already underway in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. But in England, the government has proposed going one step further. It has launched a consultation to explore the introduction of plain packaging for all tobacco. There is no evidence that introducing a display ban or plain packaging will actually reduce smoking rates especially amongst young people. Young people don't go into a shop and impulse buy tobacco. All the evidence shows that young people take up smoking because of peer pressure or because a member of their family smokes. Today's proposals are the latest in a long line of government measures which aim to discourage teenagers from taking up smoking. But it may be the very fact that smoking is becoming more forbidden and transgressive which continues to make it attractive to young people. I think People mostly tend to do like the opposite of what they want them to do. Really, it's like um, it's like um, eating the uh, the forbidden fruits, something like that. <laughs> well, everybody's doing it because they can. You know, I mean, we're all 18 now, and we're like, yay, we can buy them. <laughs> so smoking is almost a celebration or an expression of your adulthood. I would say that, yeah. Another concern for government ministers is that teenage girls have consistently higher rates of smoking than boys. Why do you think that there's more girls in particular smoking? It can look quite sexy on like certain girls and stuff. Like something rebellious to do in a way and it shows you've got your own mind that you're doing this because you want to do it. Some women might do it just to be like, oh yeah, I can do it, so I'm independent, I can go and do this, I can do that without a man telling me what I can and can't do. The association between smoking and female empowerment is a long-standing one. It goes right back to the 1920s when tobacco barons organised photos of suffragettes smoking what they branded torches of freedom. When Mrs Pamela Benjamin was caught smoking in the garden, she got a severe scolding and no supper that night. In the 1960s and 70s, this famous ad campaign continued to associate smoking with female emancipation. You've come a long way, baby. Introducing new Virginia Slims. It's been years since adverts like this were outlawed in Britain, but there are still plenty of celebrities whose nicotine habit gives them an edgy glamour. In the face of such powerful imagery, can banning the branding of cigarette packaging really make a difference? People don't buy cigarettes just for the package. They actually want the yeah, actual... they want the nicotine. Nicotine and tobacco. I don't think it will make a difference. One advertising executive even thinks that the government's new proposals could actually add to the appeal of smoking. If you're distributing almost as an illicit subject, something which is legal from underneath the desk, uh, it almost feels like uh, a banned substance when it's not. It's like a legal drug, it becomes almost. And then when you introduce the lack of branding on top of that, and it's essentially white packets of stuff, well, that can conjure up all sorts of illegal images in terms of uh, distribution of drugs and that could well be attractive to young people. However much smoking appeals to teenagers, many of them are already trying to kick the habit. Techniques like this may prove more effective than a ban on branded packaging. For the time being at least, the government says it's keeping an open mind.